more surprises are coming up on daily basis that those who are running for president who said that P2B has no structure and I'm beginning to wonder in few months how P2B has promoted the Labour Party. Remember, history is repeating itself again because Apuga wasn't had. Apuga wasn't had before till till what happened till Peter B became the governor of Apuga. That was when Apuga became announced. What's up, ladies and gents? If this is your first time of coming across the cry, please do not forget to subscribe. Most importantly, I want you to like our videos. Please don't just watch without liking. Because when you like our videos, that is the way YouTube policy will help to recommend our videos to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this channel. Thank you and God bless you as you do so. Now, uh, Atiku was very shocked when Sheikh Gumi, the popular man that you guys know, this man now, and those people be, he said he has viewed the three people running for president. You know, this is the first time in the history of Nigeria where you have three major people running for president of Nigeria. Like when I say major, it's not that we don't have other people running. You know, before you have other people coming out, but it will, it, will, it will only be two people. That is PDP and APC. Other party can just be there, you know, and nothing will happen. You just want to come out. But this is the first time in the history of Nigeria that three people came out and it is very loud and clear. You can see everywhere in the north, people are getting work, both Muslims, both Christians, talk about houses, everybody is getting work. Remember that Tiku Ikoli visited Shegumi. Tinubu visited Shegumi. Pito Bikoli visited Shegumi. And when the picture of uh, Peter B and Shegumi surfaced online. The same man that they know that he's an empathizer to the terrorist group. They became very disappointed. They were like, why would Peter B can meet that man? But they didn't know that uh uh Dati is so Dati, who is the running mate of uh Peter B has a good relationship with Shegumi. You understand? So he needed to go and meet him. I said, Peter, can you follow me? Let's go and meet this man. It wasn't Peter B's idea. But they had Peter B is a humble man. He's a simple person. Okay, let's go. Problem. Since you say you have a good relationship with him. So in every case there there must be a role that should be played. And that role is to make sure that Nigeria and Nigerians are safe. So he said, I have watched the three. The only person I can undo in those is P2B. And I think he's in shock that if a Northerner can say this, that means the P2B that we lost is becoming a win to others. When P2B left PDP, they thought that uh, his life had changed, that uh, we are waiting for the result and all that. But the kind of speed that P2B, the kind of gap that he keeps covering every day by day by day by day, is surprising, magnificent, magnitude and all that. That is why when Solido came out to proclaim, that uh, he doesn't support uh, P2B, that his effort in Anambra is worth next to nothing. He received it immediately, back to back, no mercy. You see, one thing with this how uh, politicians that they come in, they do as if they are good people, and the next thing they win your vote and they play Lord over you immediately. Look at Soludo. Look at that Soludo. Who we know pro very well. Is not the one causing all this problem. Well, I don't have much thing to say. But all I will say is that remember that the people you are fighting 
are the ones that voted into power. And anybody that block our way to vote for P2B in this coming election, whether you are our mentor or you are, we are actually looking up to you, we'll stop looking up to you from that day. Vote wisely. I love you guys. Peace out.